Alright, so I'm making this video because when, uh, well, when I'm stoned, it is not fun at all. So, I'm going to get into why that's not fun and um, have lots of questions. And the reason I'm showing you this scenery is because I'd rather not anyone be seeing my face, <coughs> even though you can hear my voice. Um, not that you're at the CIA or anything. Anyways, alright, so, uh, let me just explain. Four years ago, um, I was in eighth grade, and I got into smoking pot, and it was rad. did it for three months. Um, it was awesome. So fun, hanging out with friends, had a party at my house. Um, would do it at other people's houses all the time. It was awesome. It felt good when I did it. Um, I would have, like, we would smoke holes, we'd smoke bongs, and the more I smoked, the better I felt, the more relaxed I felt, the funnier I felt. It was everything that uh, people said it was, and it was awesome. I loved it. <clears throat> and then, three months later, there was a day when I stayed over at my friend's house, I uh, smoked a whole lot, woke up in the morning, took one long rip, found out that I had to go to my mom's house because she was ordering me to come home that day and I really did not want to go because I had just taken a long rip. Showed up and um, I just I had this feeling that they knew I was out of it. And I found out, like, six months later that they did know. But that morning, um, the way I felt was different than I normally felt um, three months prior to it when I was high. It was, it was, um, I mean, it really changed my high for some reason. And the way that is, is <clears throat> um, I have very little eyesight, very horrible vision, everything is tunnel vision almost. Um, my whole body tingles at first. Entire body tingles, I mean. It is, it is everything from the legs, to the toes, to my head, to my fingers, to my chest. Um, <clears throat> I have ADD to the max. I can not focus on anything more than five seconds without just freaking absolutely losing focus just completely <clears throat> and I have jitters um, got jitters on my hands um, on my on my head and at times there would be there would just be like almost like mini seizures seizures where my whole body would just start to to shake really violently for like 10 seconds at a time and I was just like, what on earth just happened? And it continued to happen after I came to my parents' house that one day. Um, sobered up normally. And then that was about middle December, four years ago. And then I continued for another three months on my own, not as much with friends around because um, cause that's just how it ended up. I kind of got banished from hanging out with friends after that day. Um, for a while, so for three months, um, I would do it almost every night, and I'd have that same feeling, just absolutely not enjoyable at all. <clears throat> three months later, it was a total of six months that I, I was in the pot, stopped for three and a half years. Well, three years and two months or so. And three years and two months puts us in um, that takes us to one month ago that I said, man, I really am extremely curious as to if I'm going to feel that same way. Um, because I guess, I guess that that was enough time for me to, uh, to think and remember what it felt like when I very first started smoking again, that, or when I very first started, um, blazing. That good feeling relaxing feeling that was enjoyable. 
I remember that and I said I wonder if I can get back to that. Uh, first time I did it again, I it was a month ago and I just got off work. It was about eleven at night. I drove to I drove three and a half hours with a friend who <coughs> um, I, I wasn't under the influence at all this time. Um, sorry, let me let me start this back over. I had just got off work at eleven drove with my friend for three and a half hours to see another friend, met up, ate dinner, they went to bed, it's about four in the morning, four thirty in the morning, took two massive long rips, and was absolutely out of it. I mean, I did not know what was happening. Absolutely was destroyed, and stayed up for about a half hour trying to see if I could get out of it and nothing changed. So went to bed, 5.30 a.m., woke up at 8.30, um, and just was so scared that my friends were gonna, my friends who didn't do that, and who really don't, who would not expect me to do that, so I didn't really have reason to believe that they were gonna uh, accuse me of that or find out that I was under the influence. Um, but I had some pretty strong paranoia. Um, Shoot, you can't see me, can you? <laughs> um, went to a water, water jumping hole, water swimming hole, whatever that day, for a few hours, drove back, went to work, and it was not until 5.30 p.m. that same day, so it was 12 hours after I first tried it again, that I really started to feel normal, um, until it had completely come down, and I just thought to myself, wow, I can't believe it, nothing has changed in three and a half years. So I've been working um, on different things over the last month. I have, um, I tried smoking just a pipe, tried using a homemade light bulb vaporizer, I tried using an Atlas Raw vaporizer pen, I tried using an iLight vaporizer, and no matter what, um, if I am inhaling THC, I get that same exact feeling. But there is an exception, and I don't really know how to describe the exception because it's it's hard to find exactly what was different about it. Um, when I used the Atmos Raw Pen, um, I took the the Atmos Raw. Um, would continually vape twice for the first two hits, and the third time would always combust, so I'd be smoking. I could tell I was smoking because it was really, really hot air that I was inhaling, and uh, it was just a lot different than vaporizing. On those first two hits, within about five minutes, um, I spaced them out pretty far. First one, first hit, three minutes later, took another hit, three minutes later, took another. And those first two really, really felt like how the how I felt when I uh, first began four years ago. I was like, oh sweet, I, all I have to do is vape now. This is this is what I've been waiting for. This is the feeling I've been looking for. Um, but then that third one would put me right back in that uncomfortable position. So I did that about four or five times and there was no difference at all in that third hit from the hot mess rock in. <clears throat> so I said, okay, I just, I gotta find a vaporizer that doesn't combust. So I went and did that. A few days ago I bought an Iolate vape 